Well, hello there. I'm very, very excited to say a big warm welcome to the very first episode of the Health and Safety Digest, a brand new series of podcasts by Astutis focusing all its energy towards health and safety and environmental training. I am your host, digital content writer at Astutis, Toby Hale, and I will be your guide through this voyage of health and safety and environmental training. Now, you're listening to the very first episode uh, of season one, and season one is dedicated entirely to the NIEBOSH Diploma, or as it's now known, the NIEBOSH Diploma for Occupational Health and Safety Management Professionals. Now, that is quite a mouthful, but worry not. This podcast will dissect the qualification in its entirety, answering the most important questions and getting the most important answers. Joining me on this voyage into the unknown, the the health and safety training unknown, is none other than the Astutis Technical Director, Mr. Brennick Moore. He is the most overly qualified person to dissect the qualification with over 30 years of experience in the health and safety training industry. And him and I will be answering your questions, learner questions and potential learner questions, getting to the very heart of how the diploma ticks. Uh, What are the most important changes in the most uh, recent syllabus change? Uh, Who is it for? What are the different learning methods? How long does it take? And how much does it cost are just some of the very questions we will be answering this season. So please sit back, relax, and let's get started. Brennig, welcome to the Health and Safety Digest. Uh, You join us today on this podcast with a lifetime worth of experience in the health and safety industry. You're a senior environmental health officer for 10 years, a training manager for 10 years, uh, a trustee and council member for Nibosh and You joined today as a technical director here at Astutis for over 10 years. Could you just give us a brief synopsis of what you do as a director here? That's an unexpected question, man. You've just covered everything. Um, What do I do do as a director here at Astutis? So, I mean, as technical director, my overall responsibility is for ensuring the... uh, the quality of all of our training services and consultancy services. Uh, I'm quite fortunate that I've got some very, very good people to rely on in terms of uh, delivering that for us. Fantastic. Now, obviously, these series of podcasts, we're going to be going into the NIEBOSH diploma quite heavily. um, And we're going to be looking for audience questions on, on every little query that they have regarding the qualification. But the first question I would like to ask you here today, Bren, would be what exactly is the NIEBOSH diploma? So NIBOSH is the UK's National Examination Board on Occupational Safety and Health. Um, and they do pretty much what it says on the tin, really, in that they uh, design course syllabuses, uh, examine them and um, uh, grant people qualifications in the sphere of occupational safety and health or, and environment as well. Uh, and the diploma is the professional level qualification. Um, so anybody who is looking to develop a professional career in health and safety will, in the UK, certainly presumably be looking at obtaining chartered membership of, of IOSH eventually. And uh, the NIBOSH diploma is one of the qualifications that will grant graduate membership of IOSH and put you on the pathway to that chartered membership. Fantastic. But who who would you think ideally would be applying for the diploma off the top of your head? Um, well, I, I think it's pretty much anybody um, potentially who sees themselves as having a professional career in health and safety. You know, health and safety is uh, an interesting profession in many ways and that it is quite often a second profession for many people, you know, who come to it from other management roles from engineering or manufacturing or other background and they find themselves dipping their toe in the water of health and safety along the way in their 20s or 30s, um, realise how interesting the subject is because, you know, it, it, it brings in issues of psychology, of engineering, of management, of law, um, all sorts of really interesting things, although people don't always see health and safety as an interesting subject and um, 
you know, lots of people get the bug. Uh, and if they fancy um, driving their career down that path towards uh, becoming a professional health and safety uh, officer or, or, or manager, um, the diploma certainly, in, in, in my personal opinion, is, is, is the best way of um, progressing on that journey. Now, the new Bosch diploma has recently gone through a syllabus change. Um, yeah. What could you tell us uh, briefly, just, just, just some small things about the important changes that have happened in this, in this syllabus change? Okay, I mean, it's, it's uh, part of a natural five-year cycle. Um, all of Nibosh's qualifications uh, need to be reapproved by their accrediting body, the Scottish Qualifications Authority. So they consult with various interested parties and um, people are given uh, the opportunity to um, feedback on their thoughts of syllabus development and... Uh, yeah, the, the latest iteration was launched in July 2020, so we now talk about the uh, the July 2020 syllabus specification. Uh, from the top, I think the first thing to be aware of is the, the course title has changed. It's now called the NEBOSH National or, or International, depending where you are in the world, Diploma for Occupational Health and Safety Management Professionals. Next thing I think to be aware of is that um, the study hours have been reduced slightly to try to make the course a little bit more manageable for delivery over six weeks. And one of the ways that they've done that is by removing um, any content that has been well covered at NIBOSH general certificate level um, so that it's not repeated at diploma level. Uh, there are some bits and pieces of new content which are quite interesting, again, as part of that consultative process with the various stakeholders. Uh, things like um, Eric Holnagel's work on Safety 2.0 um, and uh, Professor Sidney Decker's work on Safety Differently have been added. Um, the Berkeley campus's work on high reliability organisations there's some interesting stuff on uh, health and safety in supply chains and the role of focal companies in influencing the behaviour of um, uh, partner organisations. So there's you know there's some some nice interesting sort of uh, updates to the content, and I suppose far and away the more significant change is the change in assessment methodologies. So historically, Nibosh have run traditional closed book uh, classroom environment invigilated formal examinations you know, as a response to uh, the COVID um, pandemic and lockdown restrictions. Nibosh has worked uh, very um, hard with the Scottish Qualifications Authority to come up with solutions in terms of uh, sustainable assessment methodologies going forward. So we're now looking at um, open book assessments delivered through an online portal, uh, much more focus on application of knowledge rather than memory retention, which I suppose um, you know has been a, a traditional criticism um, of, of that old school assessment methodology. So... Um, yeah, I guess the biggest change by far is the the change in assessment methodology. Fantastic. You briefly uh, mentioned there that there was a reduction in learning time mm -hmm. uh, and stuff was previously in the diplomas, now only found in the general certificate. Yeah. Would you recommend that learners undergo the general certificate prior to the, the diploma? Um, in general terms, yes. Uh it is now assumed prior knowledge, um, always has been, I guess. Uh, but now, you know, it's more important because there isn't this doubling up of repeating content that's already been delivered at that level. Uh, I think it's okay uh, if somebody's got some experience and some equivalent exposure for them to review the certificate syllabus and go, yeah, I'm comfortable with all of that. I know all of that. I feel. You know, the diploma is the right course for me. Um, 
but obviously, you know, caveat emptor, it's down to the learner to be happy that they are in the right place to do this because um, in spite of the redu reduction in hours, the diploma is still a very, very busy programme and we won't have time to um, go back to basics for some learners when, you know, the point of the course is to deliver at diploma level. Brennig, thank you ever so much for that fantastic insight. Uh, we'll be leaving it there for episode one, but fear not. The Health and Safety Digest is 100% here to stay. This is just episode one. Uh, episode two will be following shortly. So wherever you are listening to the podcast, please give us a like, uh, a good rating, a comment, and of course, please do subscribe. That will be fantastic and it helps raise awareness of the podcast and therefore more awareness for why these important qualifications are so important right here and now. If you would like more information on the Niebosch Diploma or any other courses, please visit our website at www.astutis.com and there you will find our full range of courses with more information and a blog section written by yours truly to answer even more FAQs regarding any other course you may find. You can find Astutis on all social media platforms, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn and YouTube by simply searching Astutis. And please, if you would like to email your questions regarding the Niebosch Diploma for Occupational Health and Safety Management Professionals, please do so. Email me directly at toby.howell at astutis.com. That's T-O-B-Y dot H-O-W-E-L-L at astutis.com and I will make sure your questions, your queries are answered in the coming episodes. That's all for now. Thank you so much for listening and please of course stay safe and you'll be hearing from us soon. Thank you. <laughs>